Welcome to Prime Property. I'm Nan Tara Rai. This week, we're going to discuss if the 50 basis points cut announced by the RBI governor is just what the property market needed. This is not Raghuram Rajan. It is Yellen disguised as Raghuram Rajan or Santa Claus disguised as Raghuram Rajan. I don't know what you want to call me. Santa Claus is what uh, uh, Lata called me earlier. Uh, you want to call me a hawk? I don't know. I, I don't go by these things. My name is Raghuram Rajana and I do what I do. A surprise 50 basis point rate cut by the RBI should ideally lead to cheaper home loans. It should also help bring down the cost of builders' debt. But out of the 125 bips that the RBI has cut so far in total, banks are yet to pass on all of the benefits to consumers. There's already a lag of 90 basis points in the system. So will Raghuram Rajan's pre-Diwali bonanza be enough to revive the battered property market? Here's my conversation with one of the country's largest developers, DLF. We believe that if the banks transmit a substantial part of this to the home loan market, the home loans could actually be in the 9 or slightly sub 9% category, which should be a strong booster, at least for the people who were sitting on the edge or on the, you know, who were sort of, you know, who had made, mentally made up their mind to buy, but were just thinking that maybe the loan rates will come down slightly and then I'll, I'll take the plunge. So for them, clearly. But uh, the, for, um, is this the one panacea which will suddenly, you know, uh, I mean, completely re energize the property market? Maybe not. I think there are other issues and I think, but this will be clearly be a strong motivator for that turnaround as and when that happens. The last property market boom was back in 2006. That time, if I'm not mistaken, home loan rates were hovering around 8, 8.5%. So would you say that's the ideal rate? You know, the, if you recall, the upcycle was to a large degree triggered by the teaser loans that the country's biggest bank had initiated and I think it was a great move which I think was it, you know, really got a lot of property buyers back to the market. It was, you are correct, in the range of about 8%. Uh, but honestly, we're given, the, given today's uh, regulatory appetite by both the banks and the central bank, uh, I'm unsure whether, you know, people can come back with products like that. Um, but even if you can't do that, I think clearly, you know, if we can over time come to a rate somewhere around the 8.5, 8.6% range, I think a lot of people would come back in the home buying market. The rate card also means builders can access cheaper debt, they can refinance their debt. So is that benefit going to be passed on by the builders to the buyers? You know, now, now this is, I think, a, a mistaken notion that, you know, builders work with some sort of, you know, cost plus strategy and as the costs come down, you know, you pass on. The fact is that generally, despite the deflation in a couple of key commodities, Overall, on account of labor, on account of, you know, uh, all the, uh, the ancillary issues, uh, we are in an environment where the costs of, of construction today are significantly higher than they were two or three years earlier. Obviously, uh, once the banks transmit a part of, these, of this uh, reduction, you know, we are hoping that even if they transmit something like a 50 basis points additionally, for a company like ours, it should be about in excess of 100 crores a year on the annualized basis. So that will clearly strengthen the margin. You know, what direct implication it will have on the pricing is difficult to say because pricing in all fairness is driven in today's market more by the competition, your product and the space and your anticipated sales volume that you are looking at versus actually just a pure cost basis, you know, really. And Mr. Tyagi, how is this 50 basis point rate cut going to impact the festive season? It's almost here and the last few seasons have been a damp squib. You know, honestly, I think uh, at some stage we, we, you know, we, 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 I think, are in, in sort of comparing uh, buying a house with buying a consumer durable. Buying a house is something, you know, people don't buy a house just because it's Diwali. People are looking at buying a house and once their decision is made, it is possible they want to, you know, sign the documents on Diwali. But it's not that, you know, that there's like a dhanteras where people need to buy a house, you know, and that's not a specific day. So I do believe that all of these are right positive de developments, but whether they can bear fruit in the next six weeks, which is the time between now and Diwali, uh, my view is that I think that is being slightly optimistic because the banks will also take a few, a couple of weeks at least to transmit the rate hikes, I mean the, the rate reductions down. And then you're left with three, four week process 
So maybe some of, maybe, maybe there are some builders with significant unsold inventories who will come up with some offers. Uh, we right now at least are not necessarily anticipating much of that. Okay, so you're not expecting much from the festive season. But Mr. Tyagi, you know, what is your view? What is DLF's view? How much longer is the pain going to continue in the property market? I mean, we were hoping that it would begin turning around. It hasn't so far. Uh, let's see the impact of this interest rate. But without this particular move, we were, you know, we were prepared for the fact that it may be maybe four quarters plus before it really begins turning around in a meaningful way. Whether this interest rate and the, the consequent transmission of the, by the banks begins accelerating that process, and if so, in what segments say, from, a, from, from, a, from, a, from a price standpoint, I think that's open to debate. But clearly, I think this, will be, I mean, this is not going to happen tomorrow morning for sure. But Mr. Tyagi, why aren't companies like yours, why aren't builders cutting prices? Why be so obstinate? Why not cut prices and revive demand? You know, if, you, if what you said was about correct, uh, the fact is that there is a huge secondary market which is not uh, driven by builder obstinacy, quote unquote, which is completely driven by market demand and supply. And the unfortunate fact uh, is that there isn't too much traction even in that segment. So I think let's just, uh, you know, you know it's, it, it's fashionable to obviously blame builder obstinacy and maybe, you know, some part of that blame is valid. But the fact is that there is a general lack of appetite in the buying segment Hopefully, the interest rate cut, once transmitted, should provide some degree of booster. But this will take some quarters before it completely comes to like a full traction mode. A few weeks back, you know, we had seen a conversation between the RBI governor and the SBI chairperson Arundhati Bhattacharya. There, Raghuram Rajan said it very clearly, why aren't builders cutting prices? How did you, how did the builder fraternity react to those comments? I don't know the community re the reaction in all fairness, but uh, I think we are very clear that we try to sell every product at the price which we believe is the right price for that, given the, the quality, given the location, given the credibility, and hopefully given the competition. There, are, there will always be cheaper alternatives available to the buyers, you know, uh, from other, other players, from, from the secondary market, which is completely open and secular. So honestly, uh, you know, if what that what was said were true, the fact is that that there should be a huge rush for the, for, for, for for homes in the secondary market. We are not even seeing that. In fact, from the same interaction, I think the SBI chairperson made a valid point that maybe the time has come to also look at the teaser rates because unlike the West, in India the teaser rates did not repeat did not lead to any form of delinquency of home loans. But anyway, that, that's something that, that will play out in the bank, bank, banking regulatory space. But we obviously, um, nobody is overpricing consciously, that's for sure. But, but if you believe that something will call, I mean, should be priced at, say, 7,000 rupees a square foot, just for pushing volumes, you wouldn't, you know, overnight price it at 4,500 rupees and hope that the volume is pushed. Well, that's DLF's views. Home loans around 8.5% would be ideal. Expect the pain in the property market to continue for at least another year. So, is this a good time to buy a property? Motilal Oswal answers that for us after a short break. Stay tuned.